Okay, so I just record what I did last night and I just learned how to use the apply map from web from multiple sources. Let me turn on my sublime text. So basically what I want to do is I grab a data source from Yahoo Finance and I have to make a table that has the date column in date time format and the like the open high low close these numbers have to be the columns have to be in numeric data float or integer something like that but the problem i have was okay let me start a new book maybe just copy everything uh, um, okay just call a source just call it raw df equals ed dot read csv i'm reading a csv from this source file which is the data source that i previously named and i'll show you what you get print raw df the problem is the string it's all in string format, so I can't do any calculation. Raw df dot d types. Control oops. Control B. So that's all I have. Oh, excuse me. I'm recording in raw. So I just return the first twenty rows, and what you see here from the the uh, index 18 column the 18th row uh, i mean the 19th row it shows the now but indeed it's not the type is not now it's not um missing value it's a text string now n u l l now it's a text string and that's why i can't use the traditional dot drop na format i'll show you how i can do it Let's say raw df equals raw ds dot drop na. I forgot it should be row equals zero and um in place equal equals true. Ah, can control p. See, you got an unexpected keyword row maybe rows i don't know so it doesn't work let's say if i call this a df oh sorry raw df equals raw df dot let me if i just replace oh excuse me if i parse the dates oh hold on I can't even check the data type. Too bad. Control B. And a date is in format text also object. So I just parse ah uh, when I zoom in it comes like that. Parse date equals the column, the column that holds the date which is the date column okay so it's date and everything is going to replace the now the text string now with a text string zero okay replace with now oh, sorry re replacing now with zero when I print this raw df again here, control B, you will see the date is in date time format up to the nanoseconds. Okay, and right now we are going to change all the columns, all the numeric columns to um, float or integer. Maybe I just do it at oh, am I, float. Am I right? I'm not sure. Oh, just try. So my row and the column is like this one. 
is from open, which is this one, open, all the way to the volume, which is this one. Okay, so there's a colon to up to column, up to volume. So I think this one should be like this. Let's say if I'm right. Ah, when I... Let's do it. So I just apply. Map. And then I just apply everything to float. Float. Okay. For these columns. For open, high low close, adjusted close, volume. Okay, everything turns to float. And then I print the first 20 records and the types. So I expect to see the data format of the columns to be switched to float. So you will see float, float, float instead of object. Okay? If it works. Control B. Oh, it doesn't work. Unhashable. How come? Oh, I know why. Because I forgot to use the dot loop. Dot loop. So it should be this data frame object. And then the method is dot loop. The dot log is going to take the row value, all the row values, the whole thing, which is represented in colon. And the columns is from open all the way to volume. And then everything, these columns, is going to be applied map to data format float okay so control b yeah there we go then we can start like you can see for open high low close which is here the data format is turned to float 64 bit okay so we can now start working on let me try this Condition equals raw df. Just add up the open and high, see if we get any calculation. See if we can do any calculation. So this one is just add them up. Then it just print condition. Control B. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, this one. 29.6, which is 14.8 plus 14.8. Yeah, 29.6. Yes, they are adding up. And the object should be... Yeah, it's fine. So they are adding up. So we can use calculation on the columns right now. Thank you. Bye-bye.